While new Pokemon Sun and Moon info was supposed to be released this week, we weren't planning on it coming out so early. Yet, because of a leak, Pokemon's Japanese YouTube channel released a new trailer showing off seven brand new Pokemon. So it's time to look them over with the old analysis machine to see what secrets and hidden details we can find. As always, be sure to watch our previous Pokemon analyses as we'll be referring back to them throughout. The first Pokemon introduced is Tapu Koko, the guardian of Mele Mele Island that was referred to in the E3 trailer. But what's interesting is how we first see it. This isn't some wild Pokemon. It appears to be battling for Hala. It's also difficult to pinpoint exactly when this is taking place as the camera is focused on the overcast sky. The little bit of the arena that we can see seems to indicate that this is not from the beginning of the game as none of the landmarks are present. However, it actually could be from the beginning since Hala mentioned in the E3 footage that the player had already met Tapu Koko. But this just leads to further questions. Mainly, who is Hala? Could he really be the Alola champion as many have predicted? Or does he serve another role? It's just not clear. But the scene with Tapu Koko seems to begin with it displaying its power by flying through a circle of three Spearow, electrifying them as it passes by. It then lands in front of Hala before peeking an eye out and finally revealing its full form. It's an impressive introduction and we even get a line from Lily mentioning how it's the guardian of the island just as many have said before. Even its name hints at its guardian status. Koko is the Hawaiian word for chickens cackling and its Japanese name Kapu Kokeiko is made up of Hawaiian and Japanese words. Kapu is Hawaiian for sacred, while Kokeiko is equivalent to a rooster's cockadoodle do in Japanese. In other words, it seems that Tapu Koko is a sacred rooster, which is also evident in its appearance, especially when its mask is on. We should also mention that Tapu Koko is a dual electric and fairy type with the ability Elect Maker. As we can see, this ability activates electric terrain when it's sent out. The move it uses is called Nature Fury, at least in Japanese. There doesn't seem to be anything unique about it, except that it's presumably a new fairy type attack. In this scene, Tapu Koko is level 60 and battling a wild Slowbro at level 58, which indicates that it can't be caught until later in the game and may even start at level 60. Next up, the trailer introduced us to Chargebug, which seems to be the evolution of Grubbin. Unlike other early bug types in Pokemon, Chargebug doesn't seem to be the Cocoon evolution and instead resembles a boxy caterpillar. It also gains the electric type and we can see it using Spark. But what has us curious is its level. When it uses Spark, Chargebug is at level 28, far greater than previous early bug Pokemon. And we suspect that it will be a late bloomer since its evolution, Vicavolt, never shows what level it's at. All we can see from it is that it can use the move Zap Cannon. Because it may evolve so late, it's possible that Vicavolt will be a much more viable bug Pokemon late in the game. We then see the normal and dragon type Pokemon Drampa, which has a brand new ability, Frenzy. We see it activate during the trailer, though we're not entirely sure of what causes it to trigger. It may be when it's low on health, or hit with a certain move type, or when taking a big hit in general. Nevertheless, Drampa's Frenzy activates, which increases its special attack stat. Not much else is known about it except that it can use Dragon Breath. Then we have Bruxish, which seems to be the least popular of the new Pokemon, despite the belief that it may be designed after Hawaii State Fish, the Reef Triggerfish. Bruxish is a water and psychic type with the new ability Dazzle. We see this in action during the trailer when Kangaskhan attempts to use a speed priority move such as Quick Attack. Dazzle prevents that move from hitting at all before retaliating with a Psy Wave. Before moving on, we notice that Bruxish actually opens the growth on its head during its waiting animation. This reveals a flower-like pattern with a pearl in the center. Could this pearl be the source of its psychic abilities? Next up is another new bug Pokemon, Cutiefly. It also has the fairy typing and seems to be an early game Pokemon based on both its and Pancham's level. It's able to use the move Fairy Wind and seems to be based on the Bee Fly. Bee Flies tend to be important pollinators as their primary diet is nectar and pollen. Intriguingly, their larvae are parasitoids as the adults will sneak their eggs into beehives where the young then eat the bees' food reserves. We'd be curious if any of these traits will be given to Cutie Fly. Finally, there's the new Pikachu-like Pokemon, Togedemaru. 
It's an electric and steel type Pokemon with the lightning rod ability. It's quite obviously based on a hedgehog, which is an amusing choice considering that it is illegal to own a hedgehog in Hawaii since they're not native to the islands. If they were introduced, it would lead to a situation like with Young Goose in the world of Pokemon. But the only other thing we really know about Togedemaru is that it can use the move Discharge. That may be everything that we could find on the newly revealed Pokemon, but it's still possible that more information will be released soon. After all, none of the other branches of the Pokemon Company have shown anything related to these new creatures, despite the fact that all regions have worked together up until this point. We wouldn't be surprised if some more minor information on each of these Pokemon were coming down the line, and we'll be there to cover it when it happens. Of course, let us know if we missed anything in the comments. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to keep up with everything we do. Thanks for watching and make sure to stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Pokemon and other things gaming.